So I'm gonna put them on here and then uh, I'll wash them off. It does look, oh, it looks like he sent a couple varieties but one of them opened up. Two of them opened up. I don't know if I'm gonna have those just because I I'd be worried about mold. Ah, so here are the Camiatos or star apples. I just washed them off. A couple of them uh, came a little opened up. This happened in shipping. Um, not sure if these are still gonna be edible. We'll find out about that. Um, looks like I have three varieties. A, hi a, hi a Hippocleto, a uh, Burgess, and then this one says Lara. So I, I'm assuming that might be one of his own variety, his own creations. Big shout out to this guy. Hello, fruit friends. Today, we're gonna be doing the star apple. These are purple star apples sent to me by Lara Farms. Lara Farms on Instagram, check him out. He sells fruit. I think right now he's got some lychee. He's lychee, he's always got amazing stuff. You gotta check him out. From, you know, I think they all start out green and then they turn purple. Look at that beautiful, deep, purple, a midnight, nice, beautiful color there. They all are very soft. These have been in the fridge, so they're all chilled. Um, no smell on that one. Let's, tr let's try this one that's cracked open. Mmm, fruity smell coming from in there. Honestly, it's kind of a... It smells like gasoline, but I love that smell. But I'm also probably my, you know, my nose is kind of stuffed up, so that don't don't think these smell like gasoline. Nice fruity sweet smell though. It's cut in here. Um, anyway, I also want to give a shout out to Victor Joseph from Instagram. He's a really nice guy. You should look him up as well. He's also into fruits. Um, first of all, he explained that it's. Um, this is called a star apple, but it's also called a caimito. And I was pronouncing it incorrectly at first, calling it a camiato. It is a caimito, otherwise known as a star apple. I believe there are two, two broad categories. There's the purple and the green. I have had the green before shipped to me uh, from Miami Fruit. You can check out that video. Um, it was okay. It was okay, very excited to try these though, the purple variety. And the other thing Victor said was, he answered one of my questions was, was whether these are still okay to eat uh, because they came in shipping, kind of cracked open a little bit, looks like they're overripe and I was concerned about mold or something. He said, try one of these first, these ones that look perfectly ripe and aren't cracked open, and then I'll have a good base to compare to compare this to when I try this so if it if something tastes really off from from the one of these then I'm gonna assume that these are no good and I won't continue to eat them so we will break into one of the Burgess first and let's do that right now these are called star apples because when you cut them uh, down the middle you're gonna see a star pattern within the fruit it's actually really neat so we'll try, I'll try and show you that. There you go. And that, that's supposed to look, um, that's the star shape right there. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? That is a beautiful looking fruit. Look at that shining. Just a beautiful looking fruit. All right, so I got the beautiful looking fruit right here. Look at that purple, a purple outer shell and a juicy white, soft, fleshy interior. So for my first bite, I'm gonna scoop around the seeds and I'll really compare this one to the one I got from Miami Fruit. So here we go, first bite. Oh my God, that's delicious. Very flavorful, so sweet, creamy. Oh, spit out those seeds. That is delicious. 
That is really delicious. Wow. Let's have another, let's have another bite. Mmm. I'm gonna need a minute to enjoy this. Mm-hmm. And it just spoons out so easily. Like a, like a little bowl of pudding or something with seeds. You just have to watch out for eating the seeds. But, and I'm getting a little bit of the purple um, from the outer shell with it, and it's not a big deal to just eat that right up. This Burgess is a must try, Caimito. I eat the whole thing. There you have it, folks. Wow, you know what I just noticed? It looks like I got all the seeds on that last bite, on that last piece. So this half is just all, all meat. All meat, no seeds. So for as far as flavor goes, um, hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness, this side's even better. Have you ever thought that, like one side of fruit is better than the other side? It's weird, huh? Um, so that was weird. I just tried the other side and I had some, I was getting some fermentation, uh, some tastes of fermentation. Um, has anyone ever had that where like one piece of the fruit is good and then the other one's kind of like weird? It tasted like kind of tea or something. But anyways, as far as flavor goes, it's hard to describe. It's soft, it's so soft, and it, it's kind of gelatinous. Don't let that word scare you, but that, I'm just trying to describe the texture. Maybe like a, it's got more form, more structure than pudding. Um, but like it, like it will hold its form. It won't just like kind of collapse on itself, um, but Tastes like a dessert, some kind of like a, like a flan. Um, really sweet though, really tasty. I'm gonna try and break into the one of those ones that looked a little bit like um, cracked open. We'll see how fermented that one tastes. All right, so this is the Hippolito. The Hippolito. And I'll be honest with you, when I saw these, I was kind of scared because it was white. And I said, oh God, it's moldy or something. But that's just the way I think, um, you know, it's white on the inside. So it is very, very soft. What I'm cutting right now is probably the seeds. So I'm gonna try and cut around. Extremely soft. I hope that this hasn't fermented like the other one. Um, but there you go. So this one's super soft, but I can't, I can't let it, um, I can't give it up. I gotta, I can't waste it. I gotta try it. Um, it doesn't look too bad. Oh, it smells like an apple. It does smell like an apple. That smells good. It smells really nice. It smells like a nice apple. Um, one thing I did notice is the seeds are different. I'll, I'll show you a comparison shot shortly. The seeds are bigger, larger, and they're darker on this one. All right, here we go. First bite of the Hippolito. Yeah. It smells like a Granny Smith apple. Very interesting. Here we go. Okay. So that was interesting. Um, I kind of get freaked out because it tasted a lot different from the um, the Burgess, um, but I think that and so like, but I think the two I think two the, the two different varieties may taste significantly different. Um, but I do think there was some kind of uh, hints of it not being um, good and it maybe being a little spoiled. Mmm. I also have like a, a latexy feeling on my on my lips kind of like they're extra sticky very interesting I I want to give it another bite I am like kind of 
I'm gonna give it another bite. I'm gonna give this one another bite and I might try the other one, even though the other one's like even more cracked open, but. Ooh, some coconut. Some coconut uh, taste in, in there as well. Very interesting. The texture was a little bit different as well. Um, here we go, let's see. It was a little more, it was a little more grainy kind of, a little more uh, flaky even. Mmm. Mmm. All right, like, I, it's so weird. It's good, but at the same time, it's like weird. It's like a really unique taste. So I'm freaking myself out. Like, do I eat it? Is, am I, is what I'm tasting like the unique flavor of the star fruit? Or am I, is it is it like kind of going bad? And I'm just being like overly optimistic. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna have any more bites out of that one. It does taste like it is of the, even, you know, disregarding whether it's too ripe or spoiled. It's, it's, it, I think it is a very different flavor from the other, um, from the Burgess. Let's cut open this other um, Hippoclito. And this is what I mean about the different seeds. This is from the Hippocleto, and this is from the Burgess. Totally different looking. There, there's your half star. So let's try it. Let's see if this one tastes like the other Hippocleto, if it tastes better. This was shipped to me via USPS, uh, two day air. It ended up taking like seven days to get here. Um, by no fault of Lara Farms, it was, um, it got held up by USPS. It's just a really slow service right now. Um, and it's unfortunate. So any of the fruit that's not perfectly ripe, that's why uh, that's, or you know, that might be overripe or anything like that. That's why it is that way. All right, all right, so here we go. This is the bite of the second uh, Hippocleto. Let's see if this is how this one is. Hmm. Okay. So I'm a pretty positive guy. Um, I like to be glass half full, but I just don't think they were perfectly ripe. I think they may have been a little overripe. Um, I, don't, I don't want to say anything else about those hippocletos i think they are when they are perfectly ripe i think they're probably really good and i would love to try um one like that that isn't um uh, that i can feel comfortable with confident in but anyways let's open up some of these other ones so i'm eating this burgess this is like the next day i'm eating this burgess and it looks like kind of like tapioca. If you've ever had tapioca, it tastes similar. It does taste like tapioca. So this one is more purpley than the other ones. Let's try and get these seeds out and get a bite for you. Very cool. It's like some of the flesh is almost purple. It's got a purple hue to it for sure. So this is the Lara variety. Grown, uh, these were sent to me by at Lara Farms. Awesome dude, check them out. Um, but the meat is almost, has a purple hue it's smaller than the other ones. I don't know if that's because it was picked early or something, but let's uh, try and get a bite out of here and see what this one tastes like. Beautiful color, really pretty. It's a really pretty color, really cool. I've only seen white ones up until this point. Mmm, wow, much sweeter. Mmm, um, this is the best one I've ever had. So if you grew this one, if this is one of your own creations, uh, Julian from Lara Farms, good job, man. Good going. Um, it's sweeter. 
it's kind of floral, but like a nice candy floral, like very like lavendery, um, maybe some cinnamon. Uh, definitely some cinnamon. It's kind of like a cinnamon apple. Mmm. The texture is also a little more grainy, but not in a bad way at all. Um, I think it might be because I'm eating more, and maybe the reason for the color too is I'm actually eating more of the outer part. I don't know the anatomy of this, but I'm eating more of the shell maybe. I'm not sure if that's the case or if this is just genuinely a purplish flesh, but a delicious little fruit, my friend. <laughs> So it's kind of like, um, it's kind of, so it's kind of like a lavender cinnamon apple that has the texture of like a tapioca or a flan. Um, but that's it guys. I've tried the, um, that first one that begins with an H, I forget the name. I tried the Burgess and then I tried the Lara variety. And I also tried that green one um, that I got from tropicalfruitbox.com. And I will say, I think the ones from Laura Farm were tastier, were, were more ripe than um, any of the other ones um, from Tropical, and the, uh, the one from Tropical Fruit Box. So big shout out to you. This is a really cool fruit. This is the uh, Kaimito um, or the Star Apple. Fruit man out.